On February 20th, 2003, 100 people lost their lives and 230 were injured in one of the deadliest nightclub fires in U.S. history. The fire was caused by pyrotechnics that were set off as the band Great White began to play its opening song. The illegal indoor use of outside fireworks led to the igniting of highly flammable soundproofing foam in the walls of the stage. Within 30 seconds of the fire starting, the entire stage was engulfed. Most of the 462 occupants ran for the narrow hallway of the front entrance. The entryway soon became packed with terrified people all trying to leave at once. Some were trampled to death as the frightened crowd tried to escape the smoke and flames that were closing in behind them. In the chaos, the front door became a tangled mess of bodies as dozens of people piled on top of each other in a frenzied attempt to flee. Within five and a half minutes, the entire club was engulfed in flames and hundreds of lives were lost and ruined. During the investigation, it was concluded that a fire sprinkler system would have contained the fire long enough for everyone to escape. Because of the building's age and size, it was thought to be exempt from sprinkler system requirements. However, the building had undergone changes that removed its exemption from the law, a fact fire inspectors never noticed. On the night of the fire, the club was legally required to have a sprinkler system, but did not. On December 9, 2003, Daniel M. Beechel, the former road manager for Great White, and the two owners of the station nightclub, Jeffrey and Michael Durdarian, were charged with 200 counts of involuntary manslaughter. The Durdarians were also fined over a million dollars for failing to carry workers' compensation insurance for their employees four of whom died in the blaze. On February 7, 2006, Michael Beechel went against his lawyer's advice and pled guilty to 100 counts of involuntary manslaughter. During his sentencing, Beechel made a statement apologizing to the victims and families for his involvement in the fire. The judge sentenced Beechel to 15 years in prison, with four to serve and 11 suspended, plus three years probation. The judge said Beechel was highly unlikely to re-offend, which led to his decision to impose the sentence. On September 4, 2007, some families of the fire's victims expressed their support for Beechel's parole. The state parole board received approximately 20 letters, the majority of which expressed their sympathy and support for Beechel, pointing out that it was Beechel alone who stood up and admitted responsibility for his part in the horrible offend. He had also sent handwritten letters to the families of each of the hundred victims. Beechel was released from prison on March 19, 2008. Following Beechel's trial, the station owners Michael and Jeffrey Durdarian were scheduled to receive separate trials. However, on September 21, 2006, Superior Court Judge Francis J. Derrigan announced that the brothers had changed their pleas from not guilty to no contest, thereby avoiding a trial. Michael Durdarian received 15 years in prison with 4 to serve and 11 years suspended, plus 3 years probation, the same sentence as Beechel. Jeffrey Durdarian received a 10 year suspended sentence, 3 years probation, and 500 hours of community service. In January 2008, the parole board decided to grant Michael Durdarian an early release. He was scheduled to be released from prison in September 2009, but was granted his release in June 2009 for good behavior.